Hey, Donna Marie here. You're watching the Corvette channel. Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today I want to talk to you about a product called Slip Low. Now in a video that you saw me do before, I have shown you how to install that on a flat surfaced splitter. These are actually used to be able to protect low sitting cars that have either splitters or a bumper that's very, very low. And in my video that I showed you before, I did it on, the, on a lift and I also had a splitter that was completely flat on the bottom and had plenty of places for it to be stuck on. And when I decided that I was going to be putting my new ZR1 front nose on the, can on the car, let me bring that around there, and you guys have probably seen this video of me putting this bumper on, um, I reached out to Slip Low and wanted to be able to get another set to be able to put on this splitter because you can see it's very big and it sticks out quite a ways. And so um, they went ahead and I had them ship it out to me. And in the process, I got underneath here after installing it and realized that there really isn't anywhere that's completely flat underneath this car. Okay, or not under, not the car, but the splitter. And so basically what I had was is that there's a lot of nooks and crannies underneath here and I'll, I'll grab the get the camera underneath there and let you see what I'm talking about but um, so I had to come up with a way that would allow me to be able to use, still use the product and not have to be it just being flat now when I first got the splitter a splitter sat down way down here and I ended up having to cut a lot of this off because I was grinding on everything on the ground um, I, you name it I was scratching it so we we cut it off and we brought it up to here but there's still you can see I can stick my finger all the way up underneath here and there's a lip up here in front so I'm gonna bring the camera down below here a little bit guys and let you see what I'm seeing okay Okay, so what I want to show you what I did here before I went and I put this side together, I figured out a way to be able to do it uh, on the other side. So I'm going to take you over there and I'm going to show you how that was done. Now on this particular splitter, and most of you guys that have, have Corvettes, you guys have got cameras in the front, um, I am very, very careful on how I come up to a parking block or anything like that. So I didn't really have any issues up here in the very front per se, because I had quite a bit of clearance as you can see. Um, but this, this corner right over here, this whole section right here was just, I was grinding it constantly. So anyway, so what we did is we cut it off and then we went ahead and I'm gonna get you underneath here and let you show you show you exactly what I did with the slip low product okay there's a lot of you new you stingray owners that are going to be putting this front nose on your car I, I've seen them all over the internet and I know that you guys are going to be experiencing this exact same problem so I just wanted to be able to reach out and be able to show this to you guys so you'll have an idea of exactly how to do this so what we did is we took a I took one of the uh, slip low pieces and I cut off a little bit of the ears to the point where it will sit here on this going up and down here not being flat right then I brought it all the way over to here and then I started with a slip low right here and just made the turn as you can see okay all the way around then I took a second piece and I layered it right on the top of it Okay. Now, I'm going to try to get my hand underneath here. As you can see, these are staggered, right? So in the process, what I did is I went around here with one piece, and it came to about right here. Then I took one slip low, and I cut it in half. And I put one piece here, and I'll have the other piece for the other side. The other piece, which is another full piece, just goes completely around the turn. 
it looks it looks totally fine it is completely stuck on there that is not going anywhere and it works great and this is going to be totally um totally smooth there's no there's nothing catching um and it's going to be fine and up near the front as you can see there's a lot of clearance there so you you do have to be a little bit careful if you did want to go ahead and buy us another kit you could do that and then you could double up on there like that um i even thought about using a like a um so like a wood spacer or something like that uh like uh using like a yardstick or something like that to attach to here and then attach the slip load to it but i decided to do it this way um this way it's it's cleaner it looks better um and it's not going anywhere so that's basically what we've got so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put the other side on i'll show you what that looks like and that's about it like i was saying we've got we're gonna use one piece uh for the upright piece here we're also going to use one to go around the very bottom per se and then we'll have one that's on top of that one and then we've got our our half piece here that we we cut from the other side okay so so we end up with basically one extra piece in the whole kit so you know if you find a spot you can use it then great so the first thing before we even get started here we're going to do two things we're going to we're going to wipe down um, the area with an alcohol swab just to make sure that this is all clean underneath here okay and just, just going to wipe it all completely down there okay just like that okay then at that point what you can do while that's drying is that you can go ahead and you can start to set this up in here and you can see that it'll it'll go in quite a ways there but it doesn't here because there's a little bit of a gap here so I've got to cut this off some so I'm just gonna take a pair of scissors and I'm just gonna cut this off about halfway Now I decided to do this on the, on the ground this time because this is the way the majority of you guys are going to have to do this. It's not, um, you know, I mean, I got to cheat the last time and I got to just have it on the car and have it on the lift and it was really cool. But the majority of you don't have a lift sitting at home and so you have to do it this way. Okay. So, let's see, this one is going to go like so. And now you can see that that goes right up into the lip there. So you want it to be able to hang down just a little bit because no one's going to be able to see it from the bottom anyhow. And it is black adhesive, so it's not really not going to be seen. Okay. Then at that point, you're just going to basically cut it about where you think it needs to be cut. And I'm going to cut mine right here. Cut these two ears off here. like that so now at that point or almost there I've got to clip this this piece off just a little bit You want to make sure you don't stick it all the way up there because then the slip wheel won't do its job. But you make you'll be able to see what I'm talking about here. Push it down just a little bit so it is hanging down just a little bit. And like I said, when you're standing up, you're not going to be able to see this. Somebody's you know sitting in front of it, they're not going to be able to see it. So now we got our piece ready to go, and we've got our other piece ready to go for the front. So now the only thing else we have to do is we've got our adhesion promoter here. Okay, now. Um, these do, I believe that they um, uh, they sell these 
uh, individually so you want to make sure that you order a, at least a couple of these one for each side at least and what this will do is this is going to make it so the your Sliplo product the glue on the Sliplo is going to stick really really well on your on your splitter or on the bottom of your bumper okay and you can get it you can put it anywhere you want it's not going to hurt anything it just it's going to dry here in just a second but it's going to let the it's going to let the the uh, the adhesive really stick and this is part of the secret of being able to make sure that the um, that the stuff stays okay so now at this point we're just sitting here waiting for it to dry which it is pretty much dry already now if you're doing this in cool cooler weather then it probably will take a minute or two for it to dry but now at this point I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick this up here now the sticky that is provided on the slip low product itself is extremely extremely sticky as you can see here I got this just a little almost too stuck there so I'm gonna get this up in there okay get that started go that's working a lot better than in the beginning there and I'm just basically getting it just below and then I'm pinching it on now the next thing that we're gonna do is I have a little lip right here so I can't go here at all and that's the reason that I did this in the first place Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to come right past that lip. Now, I know it doesn't meet up with this yet. Okay, this is why we're staggering it. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm going to pull this off, pull the backing off. I'm going to put this up and tuck it as close as I possibly can over to the front here. Okay, so I'm going to do that one first. Okay, so now again, this has all had the adhesion promoter on it, so it is extremely sticky. As you can see that. Okay, then I'm going to push it all the way to the front, where it's as close to the front of that splitter as I can get, right on that lip, all the way around. Just like that. Okay. Then we're going to take our extra piece that we had here that we cut from the other half of one on the other side. And we're just going to butt it right up against that one. And we're going to stick it up there like that. And then this is the finishing one. This is the bottom one. I'm just peeling the backing off of it here. Okay. Then at that point, what we're going to do is we're going to come right to this lip here. And I'm hoping that this camera's catching all this. But we're going to come right to this lip right here. And we're going to start right there. So this gets rid of the, the gap, right? But then we're going to come right to the very corner we're going to have the slip low just follow follow the splitter okay just like that right to there it bonds to itself very good. It's 
It's also stiffening up the splitter here in a sense too. And guys, that's it. It's totally smooth all the way across. Fits all the way to here. We've got so much clearance over here up in the front of the car. I'm not really worried about it unless I was to run into something. And that, that the slip low isn't going to be able to protect anyhow. But it's doing going to be able to do an awesome job here. Now this is not going to catch. I'm not going to be tearing this up anymore. So, guys, that's pretty much it. Okay, so let me pull the camera out. And then that way I can show you what it looks like um, from the front. That's what she looks like. And look at that. Came until it's there. But it's totally smooth. Okay. This right here is going to be probably the very best part of it because it is going to it's going to catch anything right here. This is the weakest point or the hardest point that the car when you go into a turn or something like that and you go into a driveway, this is where you're most likely going to get hit anyhow. And this is going to going to protect it in incredibly well right here in this corner. So guys, hopefully this helps you guys. Um, I mean, like I said, I saw a bunch of these on, uh, on the internet over the course of time. And um, I don't know... Um, I don't know how many how many people have already scraped their their splitters. I'm I'm hoping that you guys have had better luck than I've had. I've had to trim mine twice now to get it to look the way it does, and to get some clearance because originally they it only had two and a half inches of clearance, and um, so now I've got a little over four. And now with the slip low product on there, I feel so much better. The fact that I'm not going to be tearing my splitter all the heck again. So, um, guys, hopefully, um, like I said, take a look and see what you think. Um, yeah, take a look and see what you think there, guys. I mean, you can't see it from above. You know? Take a look at that. Get the, get the box out of the way. But we've now got, we've got full protection in the front of the car. And, um, you know, I think it looks great. And I can tell you from my last, my last splitter, um, it works awesome. So guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. And if you're getting tired of all the scrapes and scratches on the bottom of your car, or you just got a brand new splitter and you don't want it all scraped up, reach out to sliplow.com and they'll be able to get you set up. So guys, I just want to thank all of you for watching today. I want to thank Sliplow for sponsoring the channel today. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the like and the little bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads. And you guys, I just want to thank you again for watching. And you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.